When trading options, there are numerous strategies designed to help traders succeed regardless of whether the market moves up or down. You're probably asking yourself, does this maybe sound a bit too good to be true? Why would anyone do anything other than straddles if you profit no matter what direction a stock goes? In this video, we answer all your questions and take an in-depth look into straddles on the Robinhood platform. In the first part of the video, I will show you exactly how a straddle works and how to set it up. And in the second part, I will go over some tips and tricks in order to help you become a successful direction neutral trader. Unlike other sophisticated option strategies, straddles are actually relatively simple. The way they are set up involves two legs, a purchase of a put and a purchase of a call at the same strike price expiring at the same time. I will show you a real life example in a minute, but before we do that, let's talk about what is actually happening in this strategy and how you can make it work for your specific scenario. A long straddle is specifically designed to assist a trader to catch profits no matter where the market decides to go. If you think about it, there are three directions the market may move, up, down, or sideways. By purchasing a put and a call, the trader is able to catch the market move regardless of the direction. If the market moves up, the call is there. If the market moves down, the put is there. However, if the market moves sideways, you can begin to lose money using this strategy. Straddles are only profitable if a stock experiences movement. The drawback of this strategy comes down to three things, expense, risk of loss, and lack of volatility. The biggest one you have to worry about is that last one, lack of volatility. I can show you exactly how this works. Let's say you want to set up a straddle on Apple stock, which is currently selling for $120 a share. Today is November 17th, so you decide to purchase a $120 call and a $120 put expiring December 24th, a date that's more than a month away. The total cost is going to be $896. The call is selling for $478, while the put is selling for $418. Okay, so let's look at the options profit chart. Not as nice as you thought. As you can see, for you to make money on the date of expiration, you need Apple to move nearly 7% in either direction, up or down. That's a pretty decent amount. However, in the beginning, you can lock in bigger profits with smaller moves. On November 19th, as an example, if Apple moved just 4% above its current price, you would make a nice 12% return on your option. That same spot nearly one month later will result in a 36% loss. This is because options lose money every day in something called time decay, especially those that are getting very close to their expiration dates. If you hold a straddle longer than a couple days, it becomes harder and harder to make money as the underlying stock has to move further and further away from the original strike price. You can actually lose 100% of your investment, in this case, $896, if you held on to these options until expiration and Apple somehow never moved from that $120 strike price. Here's how that play was set up in the Robinhood app. As you can see, you simply type in Apple in the search box, go down to the options button, select the date that's at least a month away, they find a strike price that's as close as possible to the share price. This is very important. In our case, it's the $120 strike. Hit that select button in the top right and click the call option closest to the share price. Then switch over to the puts and select the same exact strike and date. Now switch and click that lantern at the bottom and you should see the word straddle pop up. Click the review tab and change the contract amount to one or whatever you feel like purchasing. And finally, type in a limit price that's as close as possible to the ask price. If you go a little lower, you can try to get a deal. It may not fill, so just make sure you're realistic about your limit order. In our case, we're gonna go ahead and just type in the ask price, which is shown right under the limit price label. Now just click the review button and send that order through. Once it's accepted, you will see the straddle pop up in your options list. Now before you go and do this, I have some very important tips that you should absolutely follow. Number one, as with any option trade, please, 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 please go to the options profit calculator, a free website, and set up the same trade you're trying to do in Robinhood to get a good visual on what needs to happen for you to be profitable and how the position will handle time. This is instrumental. You don't want to end up holding too long or too short. 
Just make sure you have a good idea of what needs to happen and what your exit points are. Second, make sure your trading options that have a decent amount of volume. A good way to know if there's volume is by looking at the bid ask spread. Options that have horrible levels of volume will have very wide bid ask spreads, and you want to stay the hell away from these. The tighter the spread, the better it is. Giants like Apple, Spy, Microsoft will generally have a decent amount of volume activity where you don't really need to worry about it. But if you're making plays on smaller companies, please make sure to check this. And finally, please make sure you understand that if implied volatility goes down, your profits will look very different. Let's go back to the Apple example. Sure, this chart will be accurate if the implied volatility levels stay the same. But what happens if the market calms down and we suffer a dip in IV? Well, that same chart now looks like this. Now, making money in those early days is just as hard as making money late right before expiration. This scenario can also work in your favor if implied volatility jumps up. However, just make sure you're aware of this fact. I know too many people that think holding straddles over something like an earnings call is a guaranteed way to make money. No, because implied volatility will trend down after the call and all options, regardless of strike price, will suffer a fall in price. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. And as always, don't forget to like and comment.